The rover's exploring an area called the Jezero Crater. Billions of years ago, it was a huge lake. NASA's Mars missions have recently unveiled a startling discovery that has sent waves through the scientific community. The Perseverance rover, equipped with advanced technology, has captured 360-degree footage from the Jezero Crater, revealing not only the intricate details of the Martian landscape, but also evidence suggesting Mars might have once supported life. We know there are organic on the surface of Mars three and a half to four billion years ago, being a habitable planet. This revelation comes on the heels of Curiosity's discovery of sulfur crystals, hinting at past water activity. Join us as we explore these astonishing revelations and their significance for interplanetary research. Discovery of Sulfur Crystals The recent discovery of sulfur crystals on Mars by NASA's Mars rover has captivated the scientific community, offering new insights into the planet's geological history and potential habitability. Found unexpectedly in a rock that Curiosity accidentally cracked open, these bright yellow sulfur crystals are significant because they suggest the past presence of water, a critical factor in the search for ancient life on Mars. Unlike previously discovered sulfur compounds mixed with other materials, the presence of pure sulfur in a Martian region is novel and puzzling, as it typically forms under specific conditions not previously associated with Mars. This intriguing find has prompted scientists to re-evaluate their understanding of the planet's environmental conditions. Curiosity's exploration of the Geddes Valley's channel, believed to be shaped by ancient water flows and debris, underscores the dynamic and potentially habitable conditions that might have existed billions of years ago. This discovery is more than just geological curiosity. It hints at the complex and possibly life-supporting past of the Red Planet. The implications for Mars exploration are profound. As scientists continue to analyze these findings, they hope to uncover more about Mars's climatic history and its capacity to support life. The sulfur crystals are a tantalizing clue in the ongoing quest to understand Mars's past, and they may guide future missions in their search for life beyond Earth. Historical Mars Exploration Mars has long captivated humanity's imagination, sparking curiosity and dreams of discovery. Known for its striking red hue and Earth-like features, such as polar ice caps and a day length similar to Earth's, Mars presents both allure and challenge. However, despite its similarities, Mars remains a harsh environment with average temperatures around 80 degrees Fahrenheit and an atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide. This has not deterred efforts to explore the planet, driven by the hope of uncovering signs of past life and understanding its history. NASA's Mars exploration began in the 1960s with the Mariner missions. Mariner 4, launched in 1964, was the first successful mission to fly by Mars, providing the world with its first close-up images of the Martian surface, which revealed a cratered landscape similar to our moon. The Viking program in the 1970s marked a significant milestone, with Viking 1 and Viking 2 becoming the first missions to successfully land on Mars, conducting experiments to search for signs of life and providing detailed imagery of the Martian terrain. The 1997 Mars Pathfinder mission introduced the world to Sojourner, the first rover to traverse the Martian surface, demonstrating the effectiveness of rovers for planetary exploration. This paved the way for subsequent missions, including the Spirit and Opportunity rovers in the early 2000s, which made significant discoveries about Mars geology and climate history. Curiosity, launched in 2011, further advanced our understanding by exploring Gale Crater, uncovering evidence of ancient water flows and organic molecules. The Perseverance rover, which landed in 2021, 
continues this legacy, investigating the Jezero Crater for signs of ancient microbial life and testing new technologies for future human missions. These missions have collectively transformed our understanding of Mars, revealing it as a complex world with a potentially habitable past. Curiosity Rover's Achievements Since its landing in Gale Crater on August 6, 2012, NASA's Curiosity Rover has been a pivotal force in unveiling the secrets of Mars. Designed as part of the Mars Science Laboratory mission, Curiosity's primary goal has been to assess whether Mars ever had environmental conditions conducive to supporting microbial life. Over the years, this SUV-sized rover has excelled in its mission, making several groundbreaking discoveries that have significantly advanced our understanding of the Red Planet. One of Curiosity's most notable achievements is its discovery of ancient riverbeds and lake beds within Gale Crater. These findings suggest that liquid water once flowed on Mars, creating environments that might have been suitable for life. Curiosity's comprehensive analysis of Martian rocks and soil has revealed the presence of key organic molecules, which are considered fundamental building blocks for life. This discovery implies that Mars might have had the necessary ingredients to support life in its distant past. Moreover, Curiosity has detected varying levels of methane in the Martian atmosphere, with seasonal spikes that hint at active geological processes or possibly even microbial life. The rover's suite of scientific instruments, including its sophisticated cameras and spectrometers, has allowed it to analyze the planet's geology and climate history in unprecedented detail. Curiosity's achievements have not only enriched our understanding of Mars, but have also set the stage for future exploration missions. Its findings inspire continued exploration and the pursuit of answers to whether life ever existed on Mars, making it a cornerstone of NASA's ongoing quest to explore and understand our cosmic neighborhood. Perseverance Rover's Mission Launched as part of NASA's Mars 2020 mission, the Perseverance rover represents a significant leap forward in Mars exploration. Landing in Jezero Crater on February 18, 2021, Perseverance's primary mission is to search for signs of ancient microbial life in a region believed to have once been a lake bed. This exploration site was chosen because the delta deposits in the crater may contain preserved organic molecules and other potential biosignatures. Perseverance is equipped with an array of advanced scientific instruments, including Sherlock, which allow it to analyze the composition of rocks and soil on a microscopic scale. These tools help identify the presence of organic compounds and minerals that could indicate past life. Additionally, the rover is tasked with collecting rock and soil samples, which are intended to be returned to Earth by future missions for more detailed analysis. The rover also hosts the Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, MUXI, a groundbreaking technology demonstration that successfully converted carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere into oxygen. This capability is crucial for future human exploration as it could provide breathable air and rocket fuel for return journeys to Earth. Moreover, Perseverance brought along the Ingenuity helicopter, which has successfully conducted powered flights in Mars's thin atmosphere, proving the feasibility of aerial exploration on other planets. Perseverance's mission is not only about understanding Mars' past, but also about paving the way for future human exploration. By conducting detailed studies of the planet's geology and climate and testing new technologies, Perseverance is laying the groundwork for humans to one day set foot on the Red Planet. Ingenuity Helicopter's Flights The Ingenuity Helicopter, a pioneering part of NASA's Mars 2020 mission, has redefined what we thought possible 
in planetary exploration. Hitching a ride with the Perseverance rover, Ingenuity's mission was unprecedented to conduct powered flight in the thin atmosphere of Mars, where the air density is only 1% of Earth's. This tiny four-pound helicopter, with its dual rotor system spinning at high speeds, successfully achieved its first flight on April 19, 2021, marking a historic moment akin to the Wright brothers' first flight on Earth. Ingenuity was initially deployed to demonstrate that flight on Mars was possible, serving as a technology demonstrator. However, its mission quickly expanded as it exceeded all expectations. Over the course of numerous flights, Ingenuity has demonstrated its capability to scout terrain, assist in planning routes for perseverance, and capture aerial images that provide a new perspective on the Martian landscape. This ability to fly over obstacles and survey large areas rapidly has opened up new possibilities for Mars exploration, allowing scientists to access regions that are difficult to reach with rovers. Each flight has contributed valuable data on the performance of aerial vehicles in Mars's unique conditions, paving the way for future missions that could include more advanced flying scouts. Ingenuity's success is not just a technical achievement, it represents a significant leap forward in exploring and understanding Mars. By proving that aerial exploration is feasible, Ingenuity has set the stage for a new era of planetary exploration, where the skies of other worlds are no longer beyond our reach. MOXIE's Oxygen Production the Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, or MOXIE, represents a groundbreaking advancement in the potential for human exploration of Mars. Part of NASA's Perseverance rover mission, MOXIE's primary goal was to demonstrate the feasibility of producing oxygen from the carbon dioxide-rich Martian atmosphere. This technology could be pivotal for future manned missions to Mars, providing both breathable air and rocket fuel for the return journey to Earth. Since its deployment, MOXIE has successfully achieved and exceeded its objectives. It produced oxygen by drawing in Martian air, compressing and filtering it, and then using a process called solid oxide electrolysis to split carbon dioxide molecules, resulting in oxygen and carbon monoxide. Over the course of its mission, MOXIE operated 16 times and generated approximately 4 ounces of oxygen, enough to sustain an astronaut for a few hours. Impressively, it surpassed expectations by producing up to 12 grams of oxygen per hour during its operations, demonstrating the viability of this technology on a larger scale. The success of MOXIE marks a significant step towards reducing the logistical challenges of supporting human life on Mars. By generating oxygen in situ, future missions could rely less on transporting vast amounts of resources from Earth, thus reducing costs and increasing the payload capacity for other essential equipment. This breakthrough not only enhances the prospects of sustaining long-term human presence on Mars, but also serves as an inspiring example of innovative problem-solving in space exploration. 360-degree Mars Imaging NASA's Perseverance rover has revolutionized our understanding of Mars through its remarkable 360-degree imaging capabilities. These panoramic images provide an immersive view of the Martian landscape, allowing scientists and the general public to explore the red planet as if they were standing on its surface. One of the key areas of exploration is Jezero Crater, a region believed to have been an ancient lake bed billions of years ago. The captivating images captured by Perseverance offer detailed perspectives of its rocky terrain, including the crater's edge and the remnants of an ancient river delta. To create these stunning panoramas, Perseverance uses its Mastcam Z, an advanced camera system capable of taking high-resolution images. The rover meticulously captures 
a series of 142 individual shots, which are then stitched together to form a comprehensive 360-degree view. This comprehensive imaging not only helps scientists identify geological features, but also aids in navigating the rover's path, selecting intriguing sites for further exploration and planning scientific experiments. The images reveal a varied landscape of volcanic and sedimentary rocks, each holding clues to Mars' past environmental conditions. These rock formations, shaped by ancient water flows, provide evidence of Mars' dynamic history and its potential habitability. By examining these features, scientists can infer the presence of past water and assess the potential for ancient microbial life. While other rovers have captured panoramic images before, Perseverance's technology offers unprecedented clarity and detail, enhancing our understanding of Mars' geological history. These images serve as a window into Mars' past, offering insights into the planet's climate evolution and its capacity to support life. Jezero Crater Exploration Jezero Crater, the landing site for NASA's Perseverance rover, is a focal point of scientific interest due to its unique geological features that promise insights into Mars's past. Situated on the western edge of Isidis Planitia, a giant impact basin just north of the Martian equator, Jezero Crater is believed to have once housed a lake and a river delta, offering a snapshot of Mars's ancient hydrological activity. The presence of these features makes it an ideal location to search for signs of past microbial life. The exploration of Jezero Crater is integral to understanding Mars' climate history and its potential habitability. The crater's diverse terrain, comprising ancient lake beds and sedimentary deposits, suggests that it could hold preserved biosignatures and organic compounds. These sediments, brought by water flowing into the lake, could contain clues about the environmental conditions billions of years ago. This makes Jezero a prime candidate for studying Mars's transition from a wetter past to the arid planet we see today. Perseverance is equipped with an array of sophisticated instruments designed to analyze the crater's geology. Tools like Sherlock and PXL allow for close examination of rock surfaces to detect organic compounds and minerals. The rover's ability to collect and store rock samples for future return to Earth is a groundbreaking aspect of its mission, setting the stage for unprecedented scientific research. The mission's findings at Jezero Crater could significantly impact our understanding of life's potential elsewhere in the universe. By uncovering the history embedded in this Martian landscape, scientists aim to piece together the planet's past environment and evaluate its capacity to support life. The exploration of Jezero Crater is not just about understanding Mars, but also about broadening our comprehension of planetary evolution and the conditions necessary for life. Signs of Ancient Water The search for water on Mars has been a central focus of planetary exploration, driven by the quest to understand whether life could have ever existed on the Red Planet. The presence of ancient water is crucial because, as we know from Earth, water is a fundamental requirement for life. Evidence gathered from various missions has increasingly painted a picture of a Mars that was once significantly different from the cold, arid world we see today. Satellite images have provided compelling evidence of dried up riverbeds, ancient lake beds, and vast valley networks, indicating that liquid water once flowed across Mars' surface. These features suggest a planet that was once warmer and wetter, potentially capable of supporting life. The rovers and landers on Mars have offered up close and personal insights, revealing even more details about the planet's watery past. NASA's rovers, such as Curiosity and Perseverance, 
have been instrumental in this discovery process. Curiosity's exploration of Gale Crater revealed ancient riverbeds and lake beds, while Perseverance, operating in Jezero Crater, has been analyzing sedimentary deposits that suggest prolonged interaction with water. These findings are vital as they provide direct evidence that standing bodies of water, such as lakes, existed on Mars, creating environments that could have been habitable for microbial life. Minerals found on Mars, such as clays and sulfates, are also key indicators of past water presence. These minerals typically form in the presence of water, further supporting the hypothesis that Mars once hosted liquid water. Moreover, the recent discovery of sulfur crystals by Curiosity adds another layer of complexity, hinting at specific conditions under which water might have existed or evaporated. These discoveries not only suggest that Mars had the potential to support life, but also help scientists understand the planet's climatic history and geological evolution. Mars's Geological Layers Mars's geological layers are a key focus in understanding the planet's history and its potential to have supported life. These layers, visible in cliffs and craters, provide a timeline of Mars' environmental conditions over billions of years. Each layer represents a different epoch, offering insights into the planet's climatic and geological evolution. The study of these layers has been significantly advanced by the data collected from rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance. For example, in Gale Crater, Curiosity has explored Mount Sharp, a central peak with exposed strata that reveal a history of water activity. These layers consist of sedimentary rocks, which are typically formed by the accumulation of material in water, indicating that water was once present and active on Mars. Such findings suggest that Mars had a more Earth-like past, with rivers and lakes that could have supported life. Similarly, Perseverance is exploring Jezero Crater, an ancient lake bed that likely preserved layers of sediments deposited by water. This crater's sedimentary deposits are essential for understanding the potential habitability of Mars as they might contain organic molecules and other biosignatures. These geological layers are crucial for piecing together the history of water on Mars and determining whether the planet could have been habitable in the past. The analysis of Mars's geological layers not only enhances our understanding of the planet's history, but also aids in the search for ancient life. By studying these layers, scientists hope to uncover the secrets of Mars' past environments, helping to answer fundamental questions about the planet's potential to support life and the broader processes of planetary evolution. Organic Molecules on Mars The search for organic molecules on Mars is a pivotal aspect of understanding the planet's potential to support life. Organic molecules, which consist of carbon and other elements like hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen, are the building blocks of life as we know it. Their presence on Mars could suggest that the planet once had conditions conducive to life, or that it might still harbor life in some form. NASA's Curiosity rover has been instrumental in detecting these molecules in Martian soil and rock samples. In Gale Crater, where Curiosity has been exploring since 2012, the rover discovered ancient lake beds and river channels, which are promising indicators of past water activity. Within these geological formations, Curiosity identified a variety of organic molecules. These include thiophanes, benzene, toluene, and small carbon chains, all of which point to the ancient presence of organic material. The detection of these molecules in sedimentary rocks, which form in the presence of water, suggests that Mars had a more Earth-like environment billions of years ago. In addition to organic molecules, Curiosity also observed seasonal variations in methane levels in the Martian atmosphere. 
a potential indicator of biological activity or geological processes. The significance of finding organic molecules on Mars extends beyond the mere presence of these compounds. It raises important questions about the planet's geological and environmental history and its capacity to support life. Future missions, including sample return missions, aim to further analyze these findings on Earth, where more sophisticated laboratory techniques can provide deeper insights. These endeavors are crucial as they bring us closer to answering the fundamental question of whether life ever existed on Mars, and they enhance our understanding of life's potential beyond Earth. Mars Atmospheric Sounds The exploration of Mars has taken a fascinating auditory turn with NASA's Perseverance rover, which is equipped with microphones designed to capture the sounds of the Martian atmosphere. This marks the first time scientists have been able to listen to Mars, providing a new dimension to our understanding of the Red Planet. The sounds recorded by Perseverance offer valuable insights into the Martian environment. The rover has captured a variety of noises, including the gentle hum of Martian winds sweeping across the Jezero crater and the mechanical whir of its own instruments, like the gaseous dust removal tool. These recordings have revealed intriguing details about the Martian atmosphere, such as the speed of sound, which is slower on Mars than on Earth due to the thin carbon dioxide rich atmosphere. This affects not only how sound travels, but also its volume and pitch, making it quieter and more muffled compared to Earth. The variation in atmospheric pressure, which changes with the seasons, also influences the propagation of sound on Mars. During low pressure seasons, the microphone has picked up mostly silence, illustrating the challenges of sound transmission in such an environment. High pitch noises, like whistles, are particularly difficult to hear. Recording atmospheric sounds on Mars is more than just an auditory novelty. It enhances our understanding of Martian weather patterns and atmospheric dynamics. By studying these sounds, scientists can better comprehend how Mars's atmosphere behaves, which is crucial for future missions, especially those involving human exploration. Speculative theories. Speculative theories often emerge at the intersection of science and imagination, capturing the curiosity of both scientists and the public. These theories venture beyond established scientific evidence, proposing ideas that challenge conventional understanding and explore the boundaries of what might be possible. They play a crucial role in expanding our horizons by encouraging innovative thinking and fostering discussions about the unknown. In the realm of space exploration, speculative theories flourish. For instance, the idea of life on Mars has been a focal point for many such theories. While current scientific missions aim to uncover evidence of past or present life through rigorous analysis, speculative theories propose more fantastical scenarios, such as ancient Martian civilizations or extraterrestrial visitors shaping Martian landscapes. These theories, although not grounded in scientific proof, inspire widespread interest and debate. Similarly, speculative theories often hypothesize about the nature of black holes, parallel universes, and faster-than-light travel. While these concepts push the boundaries of known physics, they also drive scientific inquiry, prompting researchers to devise experiments and technologies that could one day validate or refute these ideas. Moreover, Speculative theories are not confined to space. They also extend to topics like artificial intelligence, where discussions about sentient machines and ethical considerations stimulate both technological innovation and philosophical debate. Mars as a potential habitat. Mars has long captivated scientists and the public alike as a potential habitat for future human exploration. This interest stems from its relative proximity to Earth and certain Earth-like features, such as its 24.6-hour day and the presence of polar ice caps. However, transforming Mars into a habitat presents both intriguing possibilities and significant challenges. 
One of the primary reasons Mars is considered for human colonization is the evidence of water, a crucial element for sustaining life. Discoveries of water ice at the poles and subsurface water reserves suggest that future technologies might be able to extract and utilize these resources. Additionally, the presence of organic molecules and past water activity raises the possibility that Mars could have supported microbial life, making it a prime candidate for astrobiological studies. To become a viable habitat, Mars would require substantial technological advances to address its harsh environment. The Martian atmosphere, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, is thin and lacks breathable oxygen. Initiatives like NASA's MOXIE experiment, which successfully converted carbon dioxide into oxygen, are critical steps toward making Mars habitable. Furthermore, the planet's low temperatures and lack of a magnetic field pose additional challenges for human settlement. Despite these hurdles, Mars remains a focal point for future space missions. The potential for scientific discovery and the need for a backup habitat for humanity drive the ongoing exploration and technological development. As scientists continue to unravel Mars's mysteries, the dream of establishing a human presence on the Red Planet moves closer to becoming reality. Future Mars Missions Future Mars missions are poised to build upon the wealth of knowledge gathered by earlier explorations, paving the way for a deeper understanding of the Red Planet and potentially setting the stage for human colonization. NASA, along with international space agencies and private companies, is planning a series of missions that will tackle both scientific and logistical challenges. One of the primary goals of these missions is the continued search for signs of ancient life. NASA's Mars Sample Return Mission, in collaboration with the European Space Agency, aims to bring soil and rock samples collected by the Perseverance rover back to Earth. Analyzing these samples in terrestrial laboratories will allow scientists to conduct more detailed studies than what is currently possible on Mars, potentially uncovering evidence of past microbial life. Additionally, future missions will focus on developing technologies for human habitation. Projects like SpaceX's Starship envision sending humans to Mars within the next decade. These missions will test critical life support systems, including sustainable ways to produce water, oxygen, and food on Mars. Learning to live off the land with technologies like MOXIE, which produces oxygen from the Martian atmosphere, will be crucial for long-term human presence. Moreover, missions such as the Mars Ice Mapper, proposed by NASA, aim to locate subsurface ice deposits, which are vital for both human survival and fuel production. This data will be essential for selecting landing sites for future crewed missions. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.